Good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, so let's start our day with a prayer. Josh, kindly lead the prayer. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bow down our heads and close our, uh, your eyes and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. From evil. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, was in the now, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance first. Okay. So, good morning again, class. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, so today is a new day. And a new day means a new lesson for us to learn. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but before we are going to discuss the lesson, we are going to play a game first. Do you like that? Yes, ma'am. Yay. Yay. So, I'm going to show you pictures. And beside these pictures are four sentences. And you have to choose one which corresponds to the pictures. Okay, got it? Okay, ma'am. Okay, so let's have the first one. Okay. Please read the sentences from A to D. The family is shopping in the grocery store. The family are shopping in the grocery store. The family weren't shopping in a grocery store. The family were buying groceries. Okay, which do you think is the correct sentence? A, ma'am. The family is shopping in the grocery store. Okay, very good. That's correct. Let's have the second picture. Okay, please read the sentences. I are an English teacher. I am an English teacher. I were an English teacher. I is an English teacher. <clears throat> okay, which do you think is the correct sentence? I am an English teacher, Bima. Letter B. Very good. That's one. This cat, I'm being my pet since I was nine. This cat, we're being my pet since I was nine. This cat has been my pet since I was nine. This cat has been, has been my pet since I was nine. Okay, which is the correct sentence? It is letter C. This cat has been my pet since I was nine. Very good. Good job, everyone. So now let us discuss your answers. Okay. So in the first picture, your answer was letter A. So why was it not B, C, and D? Hmm, why? Because B, C, and because? D are, are not good to hear, ma'am, because they are in wrong grammar. Yes, very good. They do not have, have the correct grammar. How about in the second picture? It is also the same as the first, ma'am. They, they have grammatical yes. errors. Yes, very good. Lastly, your answer was letter C. What is with letter A, B, and D? The same, ma'am. 
They have the same. They, yes, very good. They also have wrong grammar. Okay, very good. So, can you point out which part of the sentence the grammatical grammatical error is found? The being. The word being and um, the verb. Yes, in letter A. In verb, letter B. Uh, yes, verb. verb. What is the verb, Um, the wrong verb used in letter B? Here in the picture of the cat. Verb being, ma'am. Yes, that's right. In letter D. Why is it a verb, ma'am? It does not. Uh, do action. Hmm? Why is it not a verb? Why is it a verb um, when it does Actually, not verbs are not just action verbs. There are other verbs. So we'll discuss that later on, okay? Wait, just wait first. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> so, um, the B, ma'am, is verb been. The wrong grammar in B is... Yes, in letter D. Has being, ma'am. Okay, so what are these verbs called? Do you know that? No, ma'am. Um, they are actually called the B verbs. Um, Again, what are they called? They are the... B verbs. B verbs. And B verbs is our lesson for today, okay? Okay. So... Let's have this first, verbs. So here is an example. Bob his hamburger quickly. Bob ate his hamburger quickly. Which do you think is the correct one? Uh, the second one, mom. Yes, that's right. So why? Because, because it has a verb in it. Yes. Um. Do you have anything to more to, more to add? The the verb is uh the missing verb in the first in the first sentence is eight. Yes, it's that's right. Verb. There is no verb in the first, first. one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so verbs are actually very important in a sentence. Because without verbs, a sentence cannot exist, okay? There is no, no idea in the sentence. Like here, for example, the first one, Bob his hamburger quickly. It doesn't make sense, right? Yes, unlike um, in sounds, unlike in number sounds, two. Um, it doesn't sound right, doesn't right? Sound right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, okay. So now we're going to talk about verbs. What is a verb? So can you please read its definition up to the word um, being? Uh, a verb is a part of speech that expresses an action or state of being. Okay, so are verbs already familiar to you? Yes, ma'am, because we already talked about that when I was in elementary. Oh, that's right. Verbs are not new to you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so again, verbs may express an action or a state of being. So action verbs are, they may express physical action and mental action. So can you give me an example? of a physical action. Oh, I got fly, eat, yes, run, walk, sleep, and yes, play. that's right. Yes, correct. Okay. Um how about a mental action? Mm, mental action is such as think, think, think. Yes, that's right. And choosing. Yes. Action, also, wishing, hoping, okay. okay? Which involves the mind. While physical is the physical actions, okay? How about caring, mom? 
Kieran is more of um, um I think it is is it not a verb? Oh, okay. I think it is it is a it is a verb, but I think it is a kind of a mental action. Okay. Because you think if you think of someone you care, it's like I am caring for this um person. I think it's in the mind actually. Okay? okay mom. So how about a state of being verbs? Do you have any idea about this? No, ma'am. No, okay. That's okay. I so know action verbs. I no, that's verbs. what you mentioned earlier. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so a state of being verbs do not express an action, okay? So that's what I said earlier, that there are other forms of ver verbs oh, instead of just, just action verbs. State of being. Are, is state yes, of they being. are state of being verbs. Oh, okay. okay? It makes sense now. Um, they tell us when and where someone or something exists. Okay? For example... Um, she is in the living room. So, so she, the verb here is is, okay? Is. Is is a state of being. Yes, that is a state of being verb. Okay, so it tells us that she is in the living room, okay? Okay, okay so state of being verbs are formed from the verbs to be. Or what you mentioned earlier, the be verbs. Okay? So we'll talk later about that. Let's continue on this slide first. Okay, so verbs have specific tenses based on how you use them. We have the present tense, the past tense, and the future tense. So present tense indicates the verb is occurring at the moment which means the action is happening right now. For example, um, I am discussing my lesson to the class. So um, what do you think is the verb in the sentence? Pardon, ma'am. Um, my example was, I am discussing my lesson to the class. The verb is I'm discussing. I'm discussing. That's right. So can you give me an example using a present tense verb? Present tense. She is playing games right now. Okay, that's correct. Now let's have past tense means the action has already taken place which means the action already happened it it maybe it happened earlier or yesterday or last week last month it happened in the past okay for example i took a bath earlier this morning so what is the verb in the sentence Take, took a bath. Two, yes. And what is um the tense of the the verb took? Past tense. Past tense. Um. About if it is one minute earlier, ma'am, but it is not right. Okay, now. that that's still in the past. Even if it is two seconds from now. Yes. Yes. Still in the past. <laughs> for example, I just prepared my meal for just two seconds. I prepared or, I mean, my meal last two seconds ago. <laughs> I was just preparing my meal for the last two seconds. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank you okay. for clarifying. Um, can you give me an example? Using a verb that is in the past tense. I was at the parking lot yesterday. 
Yes, correct. And lastly, we have the future tense. Specifies the action that will take place at a later time, which means the action did not happen yet. It did not happen yesterday, in the past, it will not happen right now, but it will happen maybe later on or tomorrow or the next month, next week, or in the future, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay? Okay. So let's try this. Can you please read the sentences and then identify the verbs? And also you tell me if the verb is in the past tense, future tense, or in the present tense, okay? Okay, so read the first one, Josh. Cautious carpenter measured the pine boards. Okay, what is the verb in this sentence? Measured, ma'am. And it is in the what for or what tense? Past tense. Past tense, very good. Number two. Elaine limbers her muscles and joints before yoga class. Okay, what is the verb in this sentence? Limbers. And the tense? Is on present tense. Present tense, very good. Lastly, we have... Roy and I are going to a restaurant tonight. Okay, what is the verb? Are going... Yes, that's right. And what is the tense of the verb? Future tense. Future tense. Very good. Because of the word tonight, you will know that it is in the future tense. Okay. And now we'll proceed to our main topic, which is the be verbs. So what are be verb forms? So there are actually eight different forms of be verbs. We have be, am, is, are, was, where, being, and been. Okay. So when do we use the be verb, the infinitive form of be? So when we use this in a sentence, we pair it with modals. Examples of modals are... Take note, huh? can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, and must. Okay? For example, again. I might be, again, the examples of modals are can, can. could, could. Shall, shall, should, should will, will, would, would may, may, might, might, and must. And must. Okay, there are nine. Okay, for example, I might be going to a party tonight. Did you hear my example? Yes, the modal is mm, might. Might. And the be verb is be. Be. Okay, so can you give me an example using, using be? I should cook later. I should cook later this evening. There is no B, Josh. I should be. I should be cooking later this evening. Okay, very okay. good. <laughs> okay, we have am. So am is used. The B verb am is used if the subject is what? Do you have any idea? I. I, correct. Here, for example, I am 
eating my lunch. I am not your best friend. Okay? So, can you give me an example using the be verb am? I am taking a class right now. Okay. That's a fact. And that's correct. Okay. Now we have is and was. So, when do we use this? We use is when the subject is singular and the tense is present tense. And we yes, of the tense or the verb. Was when when the subject is singular and the verb or the tense is on past. Yes, correct. Very good. For example. Is he late to class? So, what is the subject in this sentence? The subject is he. He, very good. How about here? The she was wearing a blue dress yesterday. What is the subject? The subject is she. She, very good. Now, let's have are and where. So we use this if the if the subject are or is plural. Plural, very good. Example. I have a question. You? When you use you, can you be singular or plural? Um, you is actually um a plural. Um, pronoun. Even if you're referring to only one person, um, the label of the pronoun you is actually um, plural. You cannot say, you is sitting in my chair or you was sitting in a chair. It is actually not in a correct grammar. Understood? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Another one. They were at the park yesterday. So they is the subject. And they is singular or plural? Plural, ma'am. Plural, that's right. Can you give me an example using are or where? A sentence. You are my teacher. Okay, very good. And now let's have um, being. So when we use being in a sentence, we use or we pair it with, with am, is, are, was, and where, okay? For example, the books are being scanned, okay? So, can you give me a sentence using being? The computer is being repaired right now. Okay, very good. Lastly, we have been. So, when we use been, we should pair it with these words. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, class. I'm using. Oh, sorry. I'm using my laptop right now. So let's try this. Um, hmm. Wait, wait, class. Um, okay. Do you see? Do you see this? Yes, ma'am. The word. So we pair, we pair the, the be verb been with these words. So we have has, have, or had, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, for example, um, she has been my friend since I was five. Okay, another example. I have been 
feeling lonely lately. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so can you give me an example using the beaver bin? They have been running since yesterday. They have. Okay, that's correct. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, class. Okay. Okay, but now we have the different infinitive forms of the be verb. First, we'll have the present simple tense. Okay, so note this class that in this row, in the first row, we have the be verbs in the positive form. And here in the second row, we have in question form. And in the third one, we have the negative form. Okay, so for example, here in the positive row or in the first row, I am, I'm, you are, your, he, she, it is, he's, she's, it's. And here in the plural, we are, where, you are, your, they are, there. For example, I am your teacher, okay? So can you give me an example using um, the be verbs in the positive row? In the positive form, please. Um, can I use I am? Yes, you may. Or yes, you can. I I mm, I am a boy. I am I am a boy, that's correct. So where do you think the B verb is placed? It is after the subject. After the subject, very good. Okay, how about in question form? So let me give you an example sentence first and then your turn, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Are they my co workers? Are they my co workers? Okay, your turn. Are they my classmates? <laughs> okay, that's correct. So, where do you think the be verb is found? Uh, before they, before the subject. Before the subject, very good. Okay, so here in the negative form, how do we make how do we make a positive sentence into a negative one? We add not not after the after the be verb be verb okay and the be verb is after the subject subject very good. Okay, let's have the past simple tense of be. So class, the, the, um, the position or, or the placement of the be verbs are still the same in the, in the earlier tense, in the present tense, okay? Such as here in the positive area, the be verb is after the subject. Here in the question form, the be verb is before the subject. And here in the negative form, the be verb is after the subject and the word 
not is added. Okay, so can you give me an example of a sentence using the past simple tense of be? I was at the parking lot yesterday. Okay, very good. Okay, proceed to the next. So, here we have the past participle of be, which is been. So, we mentioned earlier that when we use been in a sentence, we pair it with has, have, and had. Very good. So, can you give me a sentence using the word or the be verb been? I have been working out lately. Okay, very good. And now we have being, the present participle of be. So again, when we use being in a sentence, we pair it with am, um, is, was, and where. Okay, very good. So can you give me a sentence using the be verb being? She was being mean to me yesterday. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so um, do you have any questions? None so far, ma'am. Okay, none so far. So let's try this activity. Okay, read and answer the first question. The, the flowers are on the table. Okay, very good. Number two. We are walking down the street. Okay, that's right. Number three. She was being mean to me at school. Okay, very good. Number four. She must be our professor. Okay, correct. Number five. It had been raining for hours. Very good. Lastly, we have... I am not ready to go home. Very good. Okay, so are you now ready to take a quiz? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes. I think that it's not a yes. Yes or yes. I think we need to do a little recap. Pardon? I need, we need to do... I think we need to do a little recap. Pardon, Josh? I, I need, I think we need to do a little recap. Oh, uh, yes. Before we take a quiz, we need to do a recap of what we just learned today, okay? So first, we talk about verbs. And we said that verbs are a part of speech that may express an action or a state of being. So action verbs may express physical actions or mental actions, while state of being verbs, um, they are formed from the verbs to be or the be verbs. So what are the, the eight forms of be verbs again? Is be, am, are, was, where, been, and being. Okay, very good. Glad you remembered. Okay, so when do we use the infinitive form of be? When we pair it with a modal. Very good. How about been? When we pair it with has, have, and had. Very good. How about being? When we pair it with was, where, am, is, and are. Very good. How about am? When we pair it with I. If the subject is? Is plural, is singular, is singular. If am, the if the is subject is? Singular and I. I. I very good. How about is and was? Is and was is used if the subject is singular. Okay, very good. Lastly, we have are and where. We so when do we use it? If the subject if. is plural. Okay, very good. So do you have any questions left? 
No more, ma'am. Okay, so now you're ready to take the quiz. Yay! 